Momentous decision to make. Momentous. We don't know what to do. Big so the, we thought we would ask for pure input. Yes. So put it in. <laughs> pure. Insert. <laughs> Insert here. <laughs> um. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, then, but first, subscribe and then insert. Subscribe. Insert. That in that order. Insert your finger into that keyboard. And then click subscribe. And then insert it. I swear. So we've had a very uh, nice offer. Well, we've actually had three nice offers this week. Well, from one. the same place? No. Well, one of them was from World of Wonder. Yes. World of Wonder is a network or the production company that produces RuPaul's Drag Race. A little show called RuPaul's Drag Race. And they also do a lot of other reality shows and they have a big network on YouTube. Yes, and um, they asked us to join that network. Um, and there are pros and cons to that. Oh, I will, I will stress the word cons. <laughs> As in, give us <laughs> half of your meager <laughs> earnings. No, what would happen? 30%. Oh, 30% um, of your meager earnings. Oh, I wouldn't call that a con. Are you calling World of Wonder a con? Uh, you Are said... you saying they're trying to con us? No. Oh. In fact, I haven't used that word once in the past three minutes. Oh, but, but when I mentioned the word con, you said you immediately... Because I, I meant pros and cons. Like, forward again. But when I said con, you said World of Wonder and stealing money. Um, from poor little performers that barely make any money and rich or wonder pockets full of money. <laughs> Out there in Hollywood while we shiver in the Bronx. Unable to pay our bills and starving. <laughs> so should we go on World of Wonder? Should we work for the man? Should we sell out? <laughs> should we pay money to sell out? <laughs> or should we just give up? Um, well, I don't think that. there's another option. There are other options. Or keep on plugging. There's the other options. Courtney Shaw. Mm -hmm. Yes. We've been offered uh, production companies and um, assistance from production companies from two. Yes. Plus World of Wonder. Um, uh, the difference is that um, the problem with the World of Wonder offer is that they want. We literally have to pay them to be on there. Well, not only that, well, everybody on their network. Everybody except for the ones that are on WOW Presents. The rest of the shows pay to be on the network. Um, but uh, that's not the issue. The issue is that they, because we're in New York, we wouldn't have access to their studios. Right. We would have to send them the show. And we really need help with production. The, our the problem with our show is production. So we need a studio. Um, so I've asked Fenton if he would provide us with a studio in New York. Um, I have a feeling, and James has a, apartment? <laughs> James has a feeling that the answer will be no. Um, that the answer will be to to um, that because of the geographical, you know. But I don't think that's true in 2015. I think that now you can like, can't you just like push a button and like, you know, you'll be in a yeah, studio. Yeah. You'll be in a studio in Los Angeles or something. Mm -hmm. um, but um, that's the issue. So um, I told them that last night. Um, so but, let us know if yours, and we will share your responses next week. And are we going to write? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Stay tuned. And now a word from our sponsor. Because um, I made a link. I made a link. Uh, the the people we're talking about are, are, are fighting victory. Um, that that's it's, a, it's an old showbiz routine. It goes back to well, it goes back to Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. But, Ancient times. <laughs> but even farther back, it goes back to Lady Bunny and Lahoma, <laughs> where um, they used to do that on the stage. And then it's funny. I was telling you earlier because it seems that like Lady Bunny's outlived everybody because she's gone through people that she's had these things with. Now she's doing it with Bianca Del Rio who is very good at it. 
some say better than Lady Bunny. No. Lady Bunny might have finally met her match. I don't know, but um, the, but Bianca Del Rio is very funny, and she's uh, I think funnier than the whole man, better able to as those zingers, you know. She's really good at that. Um, but um, yeah, uh, it's kind of the same thing. I think. Bitches want to know. What? what, what, what? Sheena Rotaries wants to know if either of us have ever considered doing meet and greets for our loyal viewers. Yes, they will give us their meat and we will <laughs> greet it. <laughs> well, yes, I think that was the that purpose was of the, <laughs> the ever delayed brunch, which we are no closer to having now <laughs> than we were two months ago. We, when we, keep, first we were, the, we were this close to it, and then, pow! We were the victim of circumstances. <laughs> which we won't go into. Which we won't go into, how we were the victim of circumstances. <laughs> yes, we won't talk about our victimization or your victimization. I don't feel victimized. You don't feel victimized by anything? <laughs> Kip Ballard wants to know, did either of us know John Sex? Oh, and wow. Because Kip seen <laughs> clips of John playing the guitar at various clubs, and he was wondering if we knew him. And yes, oh. I definitely knew him. Not only did I know him, <laughs> you had sex with him? You don't even know this. I married him, and I have a picture, I have a picture of us at our wedding to our mommy. I'll have to find it, and you'll have to, it's in the bedroom. Um, but yes, uh, we got married at Area. They had a wedding chapel set up, and um, we, I was a blushing bride at 19. <laughs> I love John Sex because one of the things that I really liked about him is that on top of being really talented and good looking, he was really friendly. And you yes, know, oh my he gosh. Was, he but was, was a genuinely, type of, he was genuinely, genuinely friendly. friendly. And yeah. he would, like literally, he came, would walk up to you in a club and start talking yes. to you first. And yes, you know, even though he was so fabulous. Right, and when I was first moved to New York, like that in 1984, I saw him. And I was really nervous about talking to people because, you know, everybody seems so fabulous. And literally, he just came up to me and started talking. I mean, maybe he was trying to pick up on me, I don't know. That's the same thing that happened with me. And, you know, other, the others, and it's the same thing that we thought about with Boy George and, and, and uh, whatever, whoever we were talking about. Pete yeah, Burns. Pete Burns. Um, and uh, the other one, the, was it not Hasty Tim? Um, oh, uh, Michael Clark. Um, the, there were, it was the same in New York with, I won't mention any names, <laughs> like I just did. Uh, but the, uh, the old guard in New York was very bitchy. Right, they would never walk up to you and talk to you, especially no. if you were a nobody. No. Just showed up. But John Sex did. Yeah, right, which is very distinctive. And I really liked him for that. And it's interesting, but... Um, Rest in peace, John. Yes. We haven't forgotten you. No, not at all. Um, in fact, um, I wonder if we could show a clip. Are we allowed to do that?